What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazon's DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber, and in this video, I'm going to start working on my Easter crafts. Now, I know it's a little early to start doing that, and I'm totally blowing right past St. Patrick's Day. I did do decorations for St. Patrick's Day last year. This year, I am going to go ahead and skip it. I'm not going to decorate for St. Patrick's Day. We're going to be jumping right into Easter. I have some fun, cute ideas that I hope you guys will find inspiration from. So without further ado, let's jump into this thing. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with some of the items that I'm going to be using to decorate my banister. And we're going to start with these Easter egg lights that I bought at Family Dollar for five bucks. Then we have these fabric gift sacks. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree, as well as this cute little pink and blue bunny. Okay, for this first DIY, we're going to start with those burlap bunny sacks. And the first thing that I want to do, you see how you can see the tag through the fabric there. I just don't like the way that that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that tag out so that you can't see it through the fabric. Okay, so the next thing I have this uh, lid that I got from a sauce container. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that in the bottom. And this is just going to help it stand up straight once we insert the plastic bags. So to fill this, I'm just going to use two plastic store bags to fill it up so that it's nice and fluffy. Okay. So I'm just going to shove those things in there. No rhyme or reason to the way that I'm doing it. Just trying to make sure that that lid is flat on the bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and use that piece of twine that was included in the little kit. And I'm just going to tie it like you normally would a little, you know, like a shoe. <laughs> I tie it like you would a shoe, right? So you could leave it like this if you want to, but I just don't think that this is cute enough. It's fine, and you could totally leave it like that if you want to. It's still really cute, but I just want to add something that's a little bit better to mine. So I'm going to go ahead and use this lace that I had on hand. It's got pink in it, and then it's trimmed in white. So I'm going to go ahead and untie that piece of twine, and I'm just going to tie it around a couple more times to make sure that it's nice and secure, and then I'll just go ahead and cut off the excess. After I do that, I'm just going to tie this lace into a knot or into a knot into a bow <laughs> and then I'm just going to hot glue it onto the little sack I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. Okay, so once I glue that down, this DIY is done, and I will show you where I put it in my house later in the video. So for this next DIY, I'm going to take this 18-inch wreath form that I got from the Dollar Tree, and then I have these pipe cleaners, and I'm just going to add the pipe cleaners to the wreath form in the spots where you see the little crossover of the wire. I really don't know how else to say that. So I'm going to go all the way around the outer edge with all of the pipe cleaners, and once I've gone um, around the outer edge, I'm going to go ahead and grab additional pipe cleaners to put on the inner edge of the wreath form. Hope that all makes sense. Okay, so now that all of those are attached, I'm going to take this uh, pink and white deco mesh that I got from Goodwill, guys. It was a good find. I'm going to go ahead and cut it into 14-inch strips, and I didn't have my regular roll cutter, so I thought I would try this pizza cutter to see if it will work, and it did not works. So I just grabbed my scissors, guys, and I just cut that down. So I'm going to cut this into 14-inch strips. I'm going to use uh, almost the entire uh, roll for this. So after I've done that, I'm going to take it and I'm going to turn it long ways. Then I'm just going to go ahead and scrunch this together like so. No rhyme or reason. This is how it's going to look. Once I've done that, I'm going to grab my wreath form here and I'm just going to add that little poof piece into one of the pipe cleaners. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've added all those poof pieces to the pipe cleaners just on the outer edge, this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some more of that same deco mesh and I'm going to poof it up again. And then I'm going to take a zip tie to add it to the outer edge in between where I have the pipe cleaners. Hopefully that makes sense, but you can also see what I'm doing in the video here. I just don't feel like it's full enough because I chose to do it this way instead of just like, you know, uh, running that uh, deco mesh all the way around and not cutting it in 14-inch uh, pieces like I did. So because I don't think that it's full enough, I'm going to go ahead and add some pieces in between where I have the pipe cleaners with some 
zip ties. I hope that all makes sense, guys. But like I said, you can totally see what I'm doing. So once I've done that, this is what it's looking like so far. Much better, right? It's getting much more full in the way that you need a wreath like this to look. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess from those zip ties from me adding those poof pieces in between. So we're just going to go all the way around the wreath form, cutting off all of that excess. So now that I have that done, I'm going to take this deco mesh. I what is this? Uh, tw I don't know what inches this is, but you guys can see. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to add it into one of the inner pipe cleaners, okay? And then I'm just going to poof it out on while it's on the roll, which is what I probably should have done with the one that you saw me um, cut in 12 inch or 14 inch pieces. I should have probably done it this way, but I didn't. So, you know, you just got to roll with it and try to make it work at this point because it's already cut. There's nothing I can do about it, right? <laughs> So at any rate, I'm just going to go ahead and poof those pieces up and just add this um, deco mesh to the inner part of this wreath form. Okay, so once I get all of that added in, this is what it's looking like so far. It's looking okay. You know, you can still see the wire, but there's a lot more to add to this, so don't get all worked up about it. <laughs> so I have this egg wreath that I've had forever, and I do mean forever. So I'm going to take some pipe cleaners, and I'm just going to add the pipe cleaners into um, the parts of this wreath here where I can anchor it so that it's nice and secure. Hopefully that makes sense. But again, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to add one to the top, one to the bottom, and one to each side so that I'm able to take this and attach it to the center part of that wreath that you just saw us working on. So I'm going to go ahead, place that in the center, and I'm going to attach it with the pipe cleaners to the back part of the wreath form. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to take this super cute little Easter egg sign. It's a metal sign, and I just think it is so darling. I'm going to go ahead and cut off of that piece of twine because we don't need it. Now, I have two holes in the top already, but I need two holes in the bottom. So I'm going to use this contraption. I don't even know what it's called, but I'm going to use that and add some holes to the bottom of it so that I can insert the pipe cleaners so that I'm able to attach this to the wreath form. about everything that was on our mind talking to you give me butterflies okay so now that the sign is attached we're going to move on to making a bow for this wreath so i'm going to go ahead and use this ribbon that i got for free from my girl kim thank you kim i so appreciate this ribbon it is just darling now for those of you who've seen many of my videos before you know that i don't cut ribbon the way people normally do by measuring it i don't like to measure anything so what i do is take the ribbon completely off the spool take the two ends match them up and then i just drag those all the way down to the other end and then i cut so then i take that piece that i just cut then i find the other end then I do the exact same thing, run it all the way through until I get it to the other end again, and then I cut. This is the way that I cut all of my ribbon, guys. I don't like to measure. This is just an easy way to get the same size pieces without having to cut specific inches, which, you know, you should do that. But I just, I, can't, I don't. I can't and I don't, okay? This is the way that I cut my ribbon all the time for whatever project I'm doing. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and dovetail all of the ends for each piece of ribbon because we're going to make like little loops to insert into the wreath. So I want those to be dovetailed. So now that I have them dovetailed, I'm going to go ahead and seal the ends with a lighter. You should always do this, guys, so that your ribbon does not fray. You don't have to hold it there very long. Just run it across the ribbon really quickly to seal that ribbon in place. Now that all that's done, I'm going to take the piece of ribbon and fold it in half. Then I'm just going to accordion fold the center. Then I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to zip tie that part together, okay? So then I'll cut off my excess and I will fluff out both of those ends. And these are going to be the little loops that we will be inserting into the... Um, 
wreath. <laughs> I keep wanting to call it a wreath form, but it's really shaping into a wreath at this point, so I don't feel like I should call it a wreath form anymore. <laughs> now that that part is done, here I am taking it and just inserting it into one of the pipe cleaners on the wreath here. I'm just going to secure that into place, and then I'm just going to poof it out. I'm going to add these sporadically throughout the wreath all the way around, leaving... Um, space at the top of the wreath because I'm going to make a nice big bow at the top. So for the bow, what I want to do is make two bows. So because I want to make two bows, I'm going to take this super cute ribbon again from a girl, Kim. Her uh, channel name is Kim's Happy Place. If you guys haven't checked her out, please make sure you do so. She is totally awesome. I'm just going to cut it in half this time. Okay, so I'm going to use one half for one of the bows and one half for the other bow. Then I have this ribbon that I got from the White Bayou. I love shopping there. They have great deals and they have excellent quality products. And I'm going to do the same thing with this final ribbon as well. I'm going to just cut it in half so that I can just use um, one half for one bow and one half for another bow. So here I have this bow making contraption. Guys, I don't even know what it's called. I actually prefer a badabra, but I can only find my mini one that you see off to the left there. I couldn't find my big one and I need a big one for this particular bow. So I just was like, okay, let's just use this because I don't want to spend forever looking for that larger padabra. So now I'm just making sure that both of those loops are somewhat even. And then I'm just going to continue, guys, going back and forth, back and forth, um, adding loops to this until I get to the very end of the ribbon. And I'm going to do this exact same process with all three styles of ribbon. You free of this heart, yeah. want to feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Okay, so now that I have all of the ribbon in there, I'm just going to lift it out, holding it together as best as I possibly can. Then I'm going to take this zip tie that I have off to the left here, and I'm just going to zip tie all of that craziness together. Once it's all zip tied together, what you're going to want to do is fluff it out a little bit just to kind of see what your bow is going to look like, but I wouldn't work on it too much because you're just going to smush everything down again when you go to add it to the wreath. So now I'm just going to take that big ball of madness and I'm going to add it into one of the pipe cleaners that's at the top of the wreath and then I'm going to add it to one of the pipe cleaners that is at the bottom of the wreath. Now once I have it secured into place I do fluff it out and I also dovetail all of the ends of the, each of these bows. Now I thought that it needed something in the center so I'm going to add these little I don't know they're little clips that I got at Joanne Fabrics a while back. I thought that they matched this perfectly and that it would look really cute in the center of these bows so I went ahead and added that into the center. Once once I have all of that done, now I want to add these flowers that I got from Amazon to the wreath as well, just to add a little bit more stuff in there. Why not? So I'm going to go ahead and cut each of those little branches off, and then I'm just going to play around with how I want to insert them in the wreath. I really wasn't sure how I was going to do it. I just knew that I wanted to add them in there. So this is just me winging it right now. Once I figure out where I want them to be, I do secure them into place with zip ties. Now I have to cover up those pipe cleaners that you can see on the sign there, so I just made smaller loops with some of that ribbon I had left over. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue those smaller loops down onto each of those corners where the sign is showing the pipe cleaner because I just didn't like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess of the pipe cleaners all the way around the wreath, fluff it out. After I do that, guys, this wreath is done. And here's what it looks like on my door. Now, I do not put this one on my door. You're going to see where this one is um, later in the video, but I have another DIY I need to make for that section first. So now that makes us move on to DIY number three. <laughs> so for this one, I'm going to take this... Um, orange deco mesh that I got from Walmart. Guys, this was super, super sticky. It was driving me nuts the entire time I used it. Nonetheless, I cut the, cut it into 12 inch strips, okay? Once I cut it into the 12 inch strip, I folded in one end and then I folded in another end. Then I folded it up and then I just kind of scrunched it together and then I zip tied the top part of it down. Now, before I tied that zip tie completely closed, I added another zip tie underneath so that I had a way to attach it to the wreath form that it's going to be attached to. I go ahead and cut off the excess of the zip tie where it's like all zip tied together there. That's what we have so far. So I have this wreath form that is supposed to be like a scarecrow hat that I got at the Dollar Tree a while back. I'm going to bend back both of the ends of this wreath form so that it becomes more the shape of a carrot. 
right? So I'm really excited about this. I thought this was a great idea. We're going to see how it goes. I've never made anything like this before, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take that zip tie that I secured in there um, earlier, and I'm going to zip tie it to the wreath form. I'm going to put two pieces at the bottom, and then you're going to see me go ahead and intertwine these two pieces together because I just felt like they sat sat better on the wreath form after I did it that way. I do go ahead and cut off my excess as I go. It's just easier to do things that way. So I just intertwine those two together and lay them flat. Now on this next part of the wreath, I'm going to go ahead and add three, and then I'm going to continue all the way up the wreath form. I'm going to do four, five, six, and then finally seven at the very top part of this wreath. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes Okay, so now that I have all that done, this is what it's looking like, guys. It's looking sort of like how I pictured it in my head. I'm not mad at it at all. So now I have this greenery that I bought off Amazon, and I'm going to go ahead and take that and add it to the very top part of this carrot wreath. So I thought the best way to do this was to go ahead and insert it into where I bent back those longer pieces of the wreath form. Then I'm just going to go ahead and zip tie it on to the wreath form, both pieces, at an angle, and this seems to work pretty good. I honestly, I was totally winging it, guys. I had no idea what I'm doing. Like I said, I've never made one like this before. I just thought it would be a really cute idea, so I went for it. <laughs> okay, so for this wreath, I want to do a little bit of a different bow for this one. So I have all of my ribbon cut already. I have these three types of ribbon that I'm going to use, and I'm just going to insert each piece of ribbon, making sure that it's um, the same size on both sides, into this little wreath maker here. Literally every single piece is going to go in of this blue. Once I get all the pieces of the blue in, then I go ahead and zip tie, zip tie those together. And then I take the remainder with the, the truck and the egg ribbon, and I add those two into there and zip tie those pieces together. And the reason why I did it this way is because I thought it would look cute if I went ahead and flipped this the other way to make the ribbon look a little bit more full. I hope that makes sense. You guys are seeing what I'm doing in the video, though. But I thought this would be really cool. Now, I end up doing it differently when I do another one of these. I make a second one and I kind of like the second way that I did it better but I left them both different in my display because it's my house I can do what I want there is nothing streamlined whatsoever in the way that I do anything in my house right so once I do all of that I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this to the wreath form here so I just find the right place flip it over and I try working this zip tie through the back it took me a while to find it you guys <laughs> like this is sped up for you it took me a while to find the other end of that zip tie I don't know what was going on there but when I finally do, I go ahead, zip tie that down, cut off my excess, and then I flip the wreath around and I fluff out my bow to where you can still see the greenery and all of that kind of stuff. But I felt that this definitely needed a bow on it. So that's why I added one that was so big. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and add this... Um, this is called binding wire. So I'm going to add this binding wire to the back part of the wreath so that I have something to hang it from. So I'm going to go ahead and secure that into place, just, you know, twisting it until it's nice and secure. Then I'm going to pull it upward and it matches that greenery perfect so that you can't see it. Now I needed something in the center and I have these cute little bunnies. Um, they were on skewers. So I guess you stick them into some kind of arrangement. Anyways, I'm just going to plop one of those down in the center. Once I do that, guys, this is done. And this is what it looks like on my door. Now this isn't the wreath that's going to be for my door either. I wanted to show you what it looked like on my door, but this is the final DIY to complete my display on my banister. Yay! So here's what it's looking like, guys. Now I gotta say, those carrot wreaths ended up being quite bigger than I expected them to be, so they are taking up a lot of space that I didn't expect them to, and I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them there or not, but this is the way that it's looking right now. So there's the egg lights, and I don't have them lit up right now because this is the daytime version. I will show you in the next clip what it looks like when they're all lit up, which it looks really cute. I love that this display. I just think that those carrot wreaths need to be a little bit smaller because I feel like the big wreath and the carrot wreaths are all competing with each other. So I don't know. I just, yeah, there it is all lit up. I think it looks really cute and everything, but I probably will change this display. <laughs> so for this fourth and final DIY, I'm going to make a wreath for my front door. So this is the way I prefer to make these kinds of wreaths. So I have this greenery wreath that I got at uh, Walmart when they were all clearanced out after Christmas. Then I have this way too 
cute sign that I got from the White Bayou. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and cut off that twine because we're not going to need it. I'm going to go ahead and add some pipe cleaners to the back of this sign so that I'm able to attach it to the wreath form. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pipe cleaner on top of this, the back of the sign here, and I'm going to secure it in place with a couple of like, I don't know, these aren't close pins, but you guys see what I'm doing. I'm going to clip it down and then I'm just going to add a great big blob of glue and leave it sit until it's nice and dry. Now I have these two different kinds of deco mesh that I got from the White Bayou. I'm going to cut the orange one in 14 inch strips because I'm going to do that little gathering method that you guys have seen me do several times. Now I've separated the wreath so that I have just one um, layer on the outer edge for me to be able to add this orange deco mesh to. So I'm just going to fold it out, gather it up, place that little poof inside the, um, you know, the wreath here and just twist the little twigs into place there. That's what it looks like after I've added the orange to the outer edge. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I kind of wish I would have rotated the orange and the white and black, but I didn't. So, you know, this is what we have. So I cut this white and black deco mesh into 12 inch strips. And then I'm just going to go ahead and roll it like you just saw me into these little curly cues and put that on the center part of the wreath. See what I mean? How I could have used a little bit of variation with the orange and the white and black, but it is what it is. We're just going to roll with it like this. I'm not taking it apart at this point. So now that that's nice and dry, I want to show you that this is really super secure. The sign is not going anywhere. So now we're ready to attach the sign to the center part of the wreath. Look at how cute that looks. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't. That is just way too cute. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip the wreath upside down so that I can better see what the heck I'm doing to be able to attach these pipe cleaners to the like wire part of this wreath form. Okay, now that that part is all done, this is what it's looking like so far. It is looking really cute, but we have plenty more that we need to add to this wreath. So this is what it's looking like on the back side of it. Not too bad, right? Okay, so now I have this way too cute ribbon that I got from Amazon, believe it or not. It is just darling. I love it. So we're going to do the exact same method that you saw me do with the other wreath to add those little uh, poofs of ribbon, I guess you're going to call, throughout the uh, wreath. So I have this design, and then I have another design that I'm going to add into the wreath. So I also have this ribbon here where I'm going to make a bow with. I don't need to show you guys how I make a bow again. You saw me do that already. So poof, here's the bow. That one's ready to go to be added into the wreath. So I'm going to go ahead and add the bow first because I'm just going to do one on this one. I think two would be a little overkill. So I'm just going to add this one to the very top part of the wreath. And then I'm going to add those little curly spray things, whatever you want to call these. I really don't know what to call them. <laughs> They're ribbon loops, I guess you can say. I'm just going to add those throughout the wreath. So I have this ribbon and then I have another ribbon because I went to add another one of the same ribbon beside it and I thought it was too much of the same. So I added some different ribbon and now I have these carrots that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to plop a couple of those down into the center of this wreath and I'm also going to plop a couple onto the sign as well. After I do that, guys, that completes this DIY. I think this is such a darling wreath and and here it is. Yay! I think this one turned out so super cute. And although it's not your traditional Easter colors, it's still an adorable wreath. I hope you guys found some inspiration in this video. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye! What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazars DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber. And in this video, I have some... This is... I had to think what video it was, so hold on a sec. Let me think. What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazars DIY. Well, I keep thinking I'm going to hit this box, so, like, I'm, like, you know. Let's move it. <laughs> okay, try again. What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazars DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber, and in this video, I am doing... <sighs> I don't like it. <laughs> I'm Amber and in this video I am going to start decorating for Easter. I know it's early guys but you know what I really wanted to I drew a blank. <laughs> What's up gorgeous people? This is Amazars DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber and in this video I have some <sighs> I don't know how to do this. Hold on. This year, I'm going to go ahead and skip St. Patrick's Day, and we're just going to jump right into Easter. I have some really fun, I hope that they'll be kind of easy ideas. <laughs> I don't know. I was good till then. What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazars DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber, and in this video, we will be doing Easter crafts. <laughs> it just doesn't sound good. Hold on. What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazars DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber, and in this video, I am starting my decorating for Easter. 
That's right, guys. I like it. What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amazars DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber, and in this video, I am starting my decorating for Easter. Now, I know some people are probably going to be screaming at me. Do I have to do the hand motions? Try again.